Welcome to today's tutorial. So today uh, we are going to be creating a clock, uh, a countdown and a count up. So we're going to be looking at two things, uh, sorry, three things, a clock, countdown and a count up. So the first thing you do as usually, uh, you come, add an input, come, uh, go to title slash x a m l you go to the gt timer tab and then you select one i prefer selecting a black one or a red one or this uh, color is it's a shade of blue uh, then i change the color to white for some reason i really really love white so i've selected it now when you come to this editing tab right here this the tt stands for either pm or am the ss that's the second the minutes and the hours so this is to increase the font size this is to reduce uh, the font size now if you want to change the color maybe the color that you selected wasn't the one that you wanted to come here to this tab here for color and then you can select a color. Let us try it to see why it will work. And the color has changed to white. Now, if you want to change the font, maybe you want a particular font, you come here to this font tab. But today, I'm not going to be, to be looking at the font tab. So, already after we've already inserted the ticker, it assumes the clock that is running on your machine. As you can see right now, is a uh, half past 10 and uh, on the Vimex Pro ticker it's counting as 1033 and you can see the seconds are uh, still counting up now we can change this to be um, a countdown what do we do just come to the editor come to the settings and then uh, we can say we want a countdown for one minute. So I change this to zero, one. And then if I click OK, it's going to update. Uh, let me move this slightly to the side. And when I press on play, it starts to count down from one minute. And uh, now this is what is typical account and now assuming that you're doing a game show and each participant has uh, a certain time to answer questions. Uh, this is what you use. Now apart from this, we also have the count up where you just come to settings and click reverse. Click OK. So instead of counting down, it's going to count up. So you see, instead of the seconds going down, they're going up 39, 40, 41. So it's counting up from zero to one minute. So when it's going to get to one minute, it's going to stop. Now, this one can work uh, for the minutes and also for the hours. At the moment, VMIX doesn't allow for days. So the most you can do is maybe 24 hours. You count down to 24 hours or you count up to 24 hours. So... I hope you've learned a lot on how to create a clock, make a ticker, count up, and count down. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. God bless. See you then.